I became interested in this challenge for the very simple reason that it's a fantastic project that gives us the chance to find out things that work in education and scale them up, which is the best thing that the European Commission can do in education. We have several priorities because we have to interact with governments but also with individuals. Uh, with this challenge, our uh, greatest priority is to make sure that we give visibility, uh, space and incentives to uh, uh, people, teams who want to innovate in education. Because there's a lot of emphasis on innovation in research, of innovation linked to entrepreneurship, but we also need innovation in education, in pedagogy, in the way people teach and learn. Well, indeed, the role of private sector is changing. Uh, we see that the needs, financial and otherwise, of public edu of education cannot be met only by the private sector, by the public sector. So the key now is to make sure they have a good cooperation between public and private, so we, that we don't see them as opponents or as a trade-off, but rather as complementary ways to look at improving ways of teaching and learning. As opposed to other specialists in the jury, I've been looking at projects from a European perspective. So what would be really important for me is to look at whether the projects that we see can be scaled up, can be replicated and can benefit not just the immediate uh, beneficiaries of the project, but more widely in Europe. In other words, whether we as European Commission can help scale up the innovation that these projects will carry.